Hey everyone, David Walrod here at the Sunset Boulevard Nursery in Los Angeles, California. I have an important tip for you today concerning making your purchases at your local garden center and a fun assignment for everyone to help us get to know each other a little bit better. Here in the greater Los Angeles area, we have seven different climate zones in a 20 mile radius. I can drive from Santa Monica to Valencia and go through seven different climates. It would take like nine hours in traffic, but what an experience. The climate variations influenced by geography, latitude, proximity to the ocean, and the winds all come together to create what are called microclimates, localized variations in climate that are significant enough to affect plant growth. A plant sold in coastal Santa Monica won't necessarily stand the valley heat in Burbank. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the valley. I once bought a flowering cherry tree from a nursery not five miles from my home. Its cascading branches were showering down with pink and white flowers. It was called Snow Fountain's Weeping Cherry. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Well, this beautiful tree was only intended for one of the four growing zones in my area, and it wasn't mine. <sighs> Turns out, it has something called a chilling requirement that needs to be met in order to bloom abundantly. It needs to spend a certain amount of time in the winter at a certain minimum temperature. Don't worry about it too much. Just know that nurseries might be catering to customers in multiple growing zones. And know your specific zone. All right, here's everybody's simple assignment. Everybody right now, go to www.garden.org forward slash zip zone. Enter your zip code and boom. I'm in US Hardiness Zone 10. The Hardiness Zone map was developed by the United States Department of Agriculture and it's pretty much an industry standard based on temperature readings. Additionally, for those of us that live in multiple microclimate areas, we have a second tool to use based on all the climate variations we spoke about earlier. It's called the Sunset Climate Zone Map. So now everybody go to www.sunset.com forward slash garden forward slash climate dash zones. Find your region, click, enlarge the map and boom, there I am. I'm a 20, almost a 21, ah, to be 21 again. If you keep scrolling down, it'll give you a pretty good description of the climate in your area that should sound familiar. If it doesn't, you need to get out more. Additionally, in this site, you can actually research plants that will grow really well in your specific zone. Well, that's your assignment. Go find your two growing zone numbers and report back to the Urban Dirt Facebook page. And for those of you that aren't fans yet, please hit like already. I want everybody's growing zone numbers now. And for those of my fans out of the country, drop us a note and let us know how they specify growing zones in your neck of the woods. Thank you for watching Urban Dirt. We'll see you in the mud. Neil Saxon, I expect you to be the first to complete this task. Go, numbers now!